Welcome to the 2017 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship, proudly presented by Q Sports International and hosted here at Griff's in Las Vegas, Nevada. Our proud and official sponsors of the event are Cyclop Balls, Predator Cues, Omega Billiards, and Kamui Tips. We are being streamed on playcsipool.com. And this is the finals, and it is a great matchup. Our format for the finals is one race to 10, alternate breaks. Now, let's meet our players for the finals. First up, out of Canada, he's the 2016 Canadian Pool Nine Ball Champion, 2016 U.S. Open One Pocket Champion. He's a U.S. Open Nine Ball Champion, WPA World Nine Ball Champion, He's sponsored by Ariel Carmeli Cues, Lion Eyes, Le Spot Billiards, and Puyat Sports. Let's put our hands together for the Lion, Alex Pagalion. <laughs> and his opponent, hailing from the United States of America. He's a 2000. 17 and 16 U.S. Open 10 ball champion. He won that event last week. He's a 2017 runner-up in the World Cup of Pool. He is the reigning and 2016 U.S. Open 8 ball champion. He is a five-time U.S. Open 9 ball champion. He is sponsored by QTech and USA Pool League. Let's put our hands together for the South Dakota kid, Shane Van Boning. I'd like to turn it over to my esteemed and expert colleagues in the booth, George Teachea, Freddie Ognier, and Robert LeBlanc. Gentlemen, take it away. Gentlemen. Have a great match. You may lag for break. Well, thank you, John Lehman. This is Freddie Agner, the corner man. I'm joined by Bobby Robert LeBlanc Cotton. Or is it the other way around? We'll Bobby be... Cotton. That's some <laughs> that Keith McCready stuff. He started Bobby that. Cotton. George Seache will join us a little while later, and we'll start off with the Robert and I, Robert and me. Shane Van Boning has won the lag here. Shane is coming out of the hot seat. The Lions coming out of the one loss side, just beating Dennis or Coolio. It is a single race, extended race to 10. Well, you know, you got to make Shane a little <clears throat> bit favorite here. Sure. But I'll tell you one thing, he don't have to win. <laughs> well, Alex had made balls in the break, uh, almost every break last in his last yeah. match, whereas earlier we've seen him fail to make balls in the break. In fact, when he lost to Dennis last night, uh, he, yeah. he, I think he made uh, maybe a, one break. He had a, a made a ball in the break, and that was the one he scratched. If Shane, if if Shane's break, the balls are exploding like normal. That's hard to put right. up with when everything is. He hardly ever even has a cluster. Right. You know, like maybe one. You know, and that's a, that's hard to put up with. We clocked his uh, break earlier, 22 miles an hour, 22 and a half. He just hits him so well and gets it right on the right bounce. The bounce factor. Here he goes. And they're off. The clock says 24 <laughs> miles an hour. And Here you go again. Look at this. Take a He's look gonna at the shoot spread. The four. He's going to shoot the two, the two, then the four in this. Katie barred the door, <laughs> right? Definitely the low balls. Shoot the four next. Yeah. Or one of them. He just one gonna, of those over He's going to move them out pretty quick. Right. He could possibly shoot the five next or whatever, but. Nothing's the, touching a rail. Nope. No balls are tied up. The only ball that's a trouble ball for either is the 13, which is sitting between the six and the four ball. Shane will shoot the low balls. He's shooting the two. 
Going to get these other balls pretty quick down the table. And play for the six yeah. ball, the five ball, or the four ball. Play for all three. Now I think since he got <coughs> that much of an angle, I think he's going to maybe, I don't know. You see here that his, his toughest ball is the six ball. He could go there right now, or he could play for the four ball flat to get to the six ball behind the 11, uh, 13 ball. See how he goes. You gotta, you know, you gotta I don't believe he'll hit the four and then tap on the 13. That's some action. We do have an official referee on this match. It's Gennaro Vasquez, who has been our lead referee for uh, the entire match, for the entire tournament. He's from Minneapolis, by the way. Mm. I think he's drawn back, hitting us 11, just nudging it. Is on he? The 11? Yeah, yeah. He, he must be. He must be. Draw. No, oh, faked us out. That's called a buck. I think so. It is a buck. You take your base. Well, that's oh, nice. You know, he's uh, no, he's trying to get on the seven right now. Probably because it's uh, the next toughest ball. I like that six. shot. Huh? And he can get to the six from the one or the five. Yeah, so he doesn't you got all kinds of stuff all. down there. Right, right. Nice call, Freddie. It's uh, you know, I love the way he plays. Both of them really attacking their tough balls, knowing that the pattern, it's not just about the ball, but it's the pattern to get to the ball is, the t is what makes it tough. He decided to play this one down to the seven, the professional way. And then he'll, whoa, whoa, he'll recheck whoa. his option. He might not like this. Well, he bumped the three, but he can shoot the one. Yeah. A lot of options here in eight mall. He's just got to make sure he recovers here. He didn't even shake his head. I think he's going to go in between the three and five here and go straight across. I think so. Or maybe he's going to spin around. He might spin around the three. I'd go straight across. I'd spin around. <laughs> well, if he hits this full in the face. Oh, he got a, got a nice roll there. Yep. He rubbed that 13. He could have been behind everything. Yeah. But this was the only thing he, yeah, he's pointing to where he'd want to go. The only thing that I, that he's got to guard against here is that six ball is a, a relatively difficult ball, and he has to get pretty straight in on this five ball so he can kind of just. He stop might be going for the six right now. He definitely could. Yeah, he's went back and forth. That's quite a pattern to do. No problem. I'm telling you, man, the guy, he his patterns are sick. He, yeah. yeah. He, it, it don't matter. He just gets out. His patterns are just. Nothing ever seems diff difficult for him. Even when he gets stuck behind, we saw earlier in another match where he just went ahead and jumped the ball Everybody that was hanging on. He just jumped that ball. <laughs> frozen on a cushion. It doesn't matter to him. Look at that concentration. Delivering the cue right through the ball. one nothing. Shane Van Boning in a race to 10. Alex had to grind just to get here. He lost to Dennis Orculio one round before the hot seat match. And then he had to get through Lee Van Corteza and Dennis again. There's the referee, Gennaro Vasquez. Because Shane had the first break, Alex is always going to be under the gun or under pressure to try to break back. This looks interesting. You know, there's only 15 balls in the eight ball rack, but it looks like a whole bunch of Skittles Doesn't in there. It, <laughs> Doesn't it, it just looks like there's more balls than 15. That's right. the monitor like, whoa, looks That's like there's like 30 balls. balls. Alex broke the balls very well in his last Last match, he made a ball in the break. I think every single break. If not every single break, it was close. Needs that ball in the side pocket, which he gets. 
And the balls are tied up Jeez. down here. Three and, f well, the three goes, I believe the three goes past the nine ball. He just checked it out. Oh, boy, it's close, isn't it? Here's Gennaro needs to move that. And maybe, maybe he'll actually move the three. Alex is hoping, but not the right, wrong way. He's going to eye this thing up. And if he can't hit it, if he can't make it, he'll break those balls out. I don't know what I would do to, here. You know. I think I would start with the, with the four, I think. How do the stripes But either way, the stripe is good, too, if he gets down good. there for the 13. Sure. But the Wait. nine sitting kind of a little funny. If you take a look, there's, he's, he's made three stripes, which is probably why you take solids, because you have more balls to play with. You know, if you you got to break out something really quickly here if you're going to use the, the high balls, if you're going to break out anything. Playing drunks in a the bar, they want the stripes. Oh, they yeah, already had three balls that's gone. Right. That's right. They'd be, uh, they'd be in the lead, as they'd say. <laughs> that's right. I like this. I like taking the solids. I think so. I like the solids. Because the three goes. Right. So he, you yeah, know if what it, I mean? Yeah, if, the th if, if the three goes, I believe it does. But if the three goes, no problem. If it doesn't go, he's going to break out something, break it out with something. No, I'm sure it goes. Look. Yeah, see, you see here. Ah, yes, you're right. Oh. Four ball and straight up the table, I think. I think that's what he wants, but he needed just a hair more, less angle, I think. Don't tell me he's going to shoot the four and go into the 13. I, I, you know, I don't know. If he does, that means a three ball doesn't that go, that, right? That means a three doesn't go. I think that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. If he's got to hit that 13 full in the face, and he went right around it. And this, that's not going to scratch, but it's a good thing he's got some balls down here. <laughs> he couldn't do that again in a million years. Because, he, you know, if he tapped the nine, he'd be okay. But he didn't. I know. I can't believe he went around it. Wasn't that? He's going to take a look at this three again. <laughs> that was tough to do. Oh, uh, yeah. I think you can see it. Don't go. He's like. It looks like it goes in. Well, I, he might not have another crack at it. Well, suddenly this rack became very difficult. Yeah, I mean, that was crazy that he missed that. I missed all them balls. Crazy. Well, the good news for him is that even though he missed it, he didn't scratch in the side pocket, which, looking yeah. at the table, how, how did he get away from that? <laughs> well, Alex, you got to shoot something here or else we'll all fall asleep. He's been staring at this for about three minutes now. <laughs> he got straight in on the seven where he can't do nothing. He can't. You really can't cheat the pockets. You can see it from over here. He's like right straight, just about straight he, into and that. And he ball. can't cheat the pockets because uh, this is the rails are so tough. You know. You know, we just took a look at that three ball again. It it certainly looks like it passes the nine from here yeah. on the monitor. Well, it, it was close up, and we had just a shot up table. You know, I think he's going to shoot the three, the seven, and then shoot the one like it, he's looking. Just the one crawl next. forward for the seven, yeah. the one next down table. He's sort of forced to, isn't he? No, I guess that three ball only goes in the side pocket from below. But you wouldn't want to play that position. Well. Well, I would go as <laughs> far as to say he don't get out from here. I yeah. don't think he will. Yeah, he's up against it. He needs to get down here, like, between the eight and the three to shoot the two and maybe tap that ball again. Try to tap that ball. He's not going to play the two now, for sure. That'd just be insane. No, he's trying to thread the needle here in, in a second. He, he, he ain't going to get out here, I don't think. Excuse me. I'm yawning. We've had a long three days. A long ten after days. After nine or whatever days, and another three days. Feels like we've been here for two and a half months. Three plus nine plus another three is two and a half months, right? 
Well, it is for me because I live here. <laughs> well. That's in the hole. And now is he between? No, he's no, not. He's not, not, not close. He's got to get, he's going to stare at this three in the side pocket here, see if he can get down there. He could kill it right on the end rail, right? One rail across, hit that second diamond and just kill it on the end rail. One diamond to the Does off the pocket. Does a three go off and carry him off the 13? I don't, I didn't look it, but it goes in the side. He's got to, I don't know how he's going to get there. I think he's going he to go one rail across. It. I don't know he about that. He might be trying to hit it. Let's see. No, he's going to kill it bottom rail here, die right here. And he went too far. Hold it. He's even worse. Because now he really can't get there. You know what I would do? I'd bank it and draw back. Bank the two and draw and straight draw back. And draw straight back. What else are you going to do? I, I still think it might. Yeah, he's doing it. He were miked. He be that's right. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. And just go you, you, and go to the rail. Go to the rail. Come out. Top English and go straight. Boom. Right. If he gets out here, that'd be just a miracle. He, <laughs> if he plays this and just flies around the table, I don't think he can hold that cue ball if he plays the three ball in the side pocket from here. Boy. If he gets out, it'll be an absolute miracle. The bank is about as straight as possible. I'd, he's right in the line. It's draw straight back, I'm telling you. A shade of right English, he draws straight back. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. The crowd should be going crazy here. <laughs> Not a peep. Do people even understand how tough that shot was? No comment. No comment. <laughs> All he had to do was hit it. <laughs> no, you know, right? Just I know. He drew it, it straight back. Drew it straight back. Six, just, it just happened to get perfect. You know, and it slides in. And it got perfect to where he needed to be. And now the crowd is appreciative and clapping. I don't yeah. think they realize how that he only had so much room to get to. I know, Bobby, you could have gotten there. but No, I'm not saying that, but <laughs> there's not, you know, he just... All he had to do was draw straight back four inches. I mean, right. You know, but he hit it perfect. He did hit it perfect. I'm gonna get. <coughs> I'm gonna be getting some heat for this, <laughs> but I can take it. One to one. And here's the big difference. Shane had like an easy out, even though he got out of line. He still had pretty easy out. Alex scrambled and had to get pinpoint precision position from all over the place. Or is that pinpoint position precision? A lot of people here. It's getting hot. You know, the temperature will rise in there. The ball's going to get tougher to, to play. Shane is uh, sponsored by QTech and the USA Pool League. USA Pool League is under the umbrella of the Q Sports International. Producers of the U.S. Eight ball open. It's been so long since uh, Shane broke, maybe he's uh, gotten cold. That's what Alex is hoping. Whoa. Oh, he almost he got was kicked. Getting, he was he getting was kicked in the corner and it re-kicked him back out. Well, 6-5 look ridiculous. Look at this mess and behind the, 12 the rack. 12 is joining the party. Look at this mess. Yeah, and you can't see a high ball. A high ball he could use to break out those balls, the nine ball, but he's going to have to figure out something else. He could use he can the, shoot seven the one and then the seven. Shoot the one and go right into the balls right now. Oh, right now, does he have the angle to do yeah. that? Yeah. Look, I mean, you can see. Yeah, it looks, looks like it goes right into the balls. Looks like he'd want some kind of insurance. Well, he's maybe he got the two, or maybe he knocks them loose. But it goes right into these balls. Right into the eight ball in the corner? No, it goes right into the stripe on the side. One on the side, 
Smashing the balls out. Here we go. Not smashing. It's nice and gentle. He ain't going to hit these hard. See? He hit about as perfect as you can get. Yeah. Well, he did. Seven now, ball in the corner and play the six. And then this the five rack goes. is sol uh, solved. Yeah, five goes. And he doesn't even have to play any kind Shoot of Shoot the seven, goofiness. then the five, then the six, right? Yeah. If it doesn't go, it'll be the seven and the six, and then get get back to it from up table. Yeah. The most five probably mm -hmm. don't go. Right. You're making me look bad, George. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie. I mean Freddie. <laughs> I mean Freddie. I had George in my mind. I know Freddy. you did. Yeah. I know you did. All right. He's got to go up table. That was a, oh, a, Freudy, a, faux, a faux pas. A Freudian, Freudian slip slippage there, buddy. There you go. There you go. George will be joining us in a minute, but you're just getting warmed up to be answering him. <laughs> Yeah, Shane has solved this one. It's just a matter of pumping him in now. A little bit of execution. Nice. Seems like he wanted to get the two ball as the last ball, the key ball. But he's straight on the two. He may want to shoot that. But no, he's he's playing the the traditional, the orthodox way. I love the way he really stops that cue right at the right at the ball and holds it there because then that gives you 100% um, opportunity to tell where you're going to hit that cue ball. You know, a lot of people just move that stick back and forth, back and forth, then fire away, and you kind of wonder where were you aiming on the cue ball if you never stop. Shane didn't like this shot, so he's going to have to draw back on the three ball. He could play the two and come one rail across position. I think he just has a little drama in him, make the crowd wake up. He's following two rails, really. Two on the side. And the rub. <laughs> How do you like that? Yeah. Well, the top players get all the rolls. That could have gone horrifically wrong, but it was beautiful. Two to one, the South Dakota kid. to break and get out easily. You know, if Shane's going to be breaking and running like that every single time, big break and then having all the world to get around the balls and knock them loose, Alex has to answer. He's always going to be answering. Alex hit that one a little bit harder than he normally does, and he may come up dry. Three, six, three. Yeah, that's no good. Three, seven, ten. Oh, he didn't make nothing. He didn't make a ball. You know, he's been making balls in the break, not hitting all as hard as that, and then he hit a little bit stronger, and nothing went in. He's looking to see if the six goes. If the six goes, he's taking the solids. Yeah. I do believe the six goes, even if it doesn't go clean, and it'll rub off the cushion. And if not, he can play the high balls. The high balls are pretty good if he can make the eleven in the uh, in the side. How tough is that three, Bobby? Is that that's, that's, no, that's easy. not a hard. No, that's easy. He might shoot the three, then shoot the one next, depending on you know what happens. Mm -hmm. 
He's given us the hand signals and the everything. 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 I think he's going to shoot the one next. Is he spinning this ball? Just cozy in in there. Probably gets the six ball after the four. He's looking at every. He's in the middle. He can shoot just about every ball except for the yeah, two. He might shoot. <laughs> Stop shot on this five. Maybe the two next. He's shooting the five next. Five, then uh, maybe the six. Five, six, and then the two. Yeah, he's pattern, he might pattern leave, outing now. You know, he might leave his last two balls at one and four. The key ball might be the four. What do you think? I'm thinking the key ball for him is going to be the one ball. Completely non-traditional. All right, I'm guessing the four. Okay. You, got, you got the one I got the four. <laughs> okay. And he's got to shoot the six next, right? It would seem, it, but he's just on the inside of this five ball, so he may have to shoot the two next. He's trying for the six. No, he's, he's, he's shooting, shooting, the, he's the, shooting two. the two, then right. the six. He got a little funny where he can't get on the six. Huh. Don't be looking at the four now. <laughs> Be shooting, don't be shooting. He's gonna don't be, be shooting sliding the key ball up, yeah, dude. He's sliding up for the four right now. No, 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 he better not. He's drawing back to get on the six. No. <laughs> now with that four ball in the middle of the table, he has no, to shoot it. Oh, he's looking over there. He's got to shoot it straight in. There we go, baby. Don't be looking at that four. <laughs> mess my, there, mess this, my whole thing the up. Six ball little rub. Watch he's not even ready to shoot. He's going to shoot the six into he's one. He's not You're ready to shit. shoot. You're going to be mad. He's not ready to shoot. He's got the grimace. Yes, he does. It's the facial hand flip. That's what we've been calling it for now two weeks. I shoot, I shoot. Yeah, don't do it, don't do it. He's doing it. <laughs> he's not ready yet. Well, oh, he's, he's ready now. And he's absolutely ready Well, yeah, ready but now. meanwhile, he's shooting your key ball, too, after this. He's shooting both of us off. We both lose. We both lose. Who in the world called the six ball as his key ball? It's the toughest ball on the table. <laughs> I know. It's a, good, it's a good thing he shoots good. I know, because that six ball doesn't have to go. Well, from there it's going to go. <laughs> but now, but now, now he can't play position for it. He's not going to like this. He's not going to like this at all. You know, he's got he's to shoot pretty hard to draw back for right, the Right, right. That's what I'm saying. He's not going to like this. This ball. And he don't want to hit this too hard because it right. looks like he's got to rub the rail going in. He has to rub from the rail. Here. And he's going to end up banking uh, the ball. Look. Yeah, this ball, might this get ball catches the point. He could jar this ball. Watch. He's just kind of making a tough shot. That's that's not the way that. I think they should make him put a beer coaster and mark the pocket. I think so. I think so. They make it easy. It's too good. He made it. How good is this guy? Well, definitely not orthodox. <laughs> they ran up backwards. Well, that was off of Alex's break, so Shane has a chance to stretch out the league and lead. No surprise.
almost popped off the table. But he and the, hey, this is the first time I've seen the eight ball on the break. <laughs> now what happens? It spots up. It spots up, and, and normal normally he has the choice of re-breaking, but I doubt he's going to do that. I'd re-break if I had that choice. Yeah. Because he ain't getting out from here. He can forget about running out from here. What do you think? Well, because he got no shot at the strike. Well, he can shoot the 12. Well, the 11 ball doesn't go. I know, but if he, if he goes over there, he's got to shoot the 2-3 now. The 2-3 combination, if he can shoot it, why not? Well, or he could maybe shoot the 4. He could shoot the 4 and spin into the 2 and 3. That's an awfully tough cut, but you know what? He's shot worse. Oh, it he is. Shot. I can see in here. He's shot worse. He's going behind the 5. Underneath the five, I guess we could call it. Now one rail across. Yeah. Got to hit the three. He catches the two. I think he's above the balls. Yeah, I think he's going to hit the three, hopefully. <sighs> it's funny that we got all the way down to the finals that we see an eight ball in the break. He's shooting way up here. Is this another one of those cases where that 3-2 actually sits a lot better? No, it's, it's sitting hard. He ain't making no combination. He may be playing position above the balls to shoot it down table, which is maybe why he shot the 7. I think he's going to go into it here, Freddie. No. He went, he went way above no, it. He was trying to go into it. I don't know well, why. He overcut. Well, now he's going to be shooting something else. Well, he can't get There's out the head now. shake. Forget about it. Head shake. Now he's probably thinking. Forget about it from here. He's not getting out from here. He's probably thinking, I should have rebroken. He's not getting out from here. You bet your life on this. <laughs> he's got to make the four, and he's got no shot at the three, two. Unless he's going to try to bank it. He's banking it now, or is he cutting it? He's cutting him. He's cutting in the corner. Three ball. Well, this is the way he's going to be able to win. That's Missed not going to make it. Here comes the lion. No, he. Well, he's left him a little. It's a little yeah. difficult. Yeah, the the eleven doesn't really pass the the two, and then then fourteen doesn't pass the six, seven, six, six. And his first shot is a 15. Maybe he can spin on the 12 and go right into the 14 and then has to work some magic on the 11. 11 goes off the two on the ticky. The ticky. It's enough space there, yeah? Yes, sir. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it from here. Look. Oh, boy. That's oh it. It's boy. too close. It's too close to the rail, I believe it is. It needs to be over like a fourth of an inch, right? Let's go measure. Can you tell? Does I can't go? tell. I think well, they just showed a shot on the table. It looked like it was real close. I think he's it looks good from here. Spin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spinning on the 14. Let's see if that's what he's trying to do. Spin to the 14. Brum, spin. Missed oh, it. he missed it. Came up short. Doesn't have any more shots of this, but maybe he can get the 11 or the deuce. Oh, he's getting the 11 ball out of here for sure. I think he's going to go two rails and hit it. Yeah. Go into the long rail and come in behind it. Like that. And he oh, he it. tried to hit the two ball instead. He, did, he missed that one. He missed everything again. Well, you can go ahead and stick a fork in oh, this rail. Oh, boy. He's gonna be, he needs to bank out now. He don't even have a shot to do nothing here. He's in trouble. That's a bit too wild. God, there. he missed both he missed shots two at shots it. Two shots to, to tear the balls out. Missed them both. Shane's putting the heat on him. I tell you happening. what, that's exactly what's happening. Nah, he don't care about the heat. Alex plays. <laughs> he plays so good under pressure. It's sick. Ooh. 
what does he do? Fire the 13 in the side, come up behind the 14, shoot it in the corner pocket. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead here. Oh, no, he's dead. He's, yeah. just, he's dead here. I don't see no way in a zillion years he can get out from here. A zillion years? That's right. Wow, that's strong. Yeah, it is, ain't it? <laughs> I think in a million years he might be able to get out, but a no. zillion. I don't know how. That's even more. It is, ain't it? He's, yes, a zillion's got to be more than a million. He ain't going to get out from here. That's my prediction. I don't even know what he's going to do. He's going to try to duck. That's what he's doing. I think he's just going to just try to. Hook behind the Go behind six the ball. six some kind of way. And that ain't going to be no good because no, he's going to leave him a shot on the four. Or he can just reduck. Reduck, right. I think he's got to pound this a 13. Safeties are for the weak. <laughs> honest effort. <laughs> yeah. Shoot it, honest effort. They won't yell at you at the bar if you shoot honest effort. Right? I wish he would shoot. <laughs> Play the ticky Nothing's now. Nothing's going to move. He might as well pull the trigger. He's playing the ticky. Here we go. Come on. I know he's in a tough predicament. Well, he's got to do something. Man. Ain't nothing going to move. Is he going to try to fire the 13 no, move the just, 6? Or just put it on top of the 6 where he don't. Well, Even if he leaves him there, he's got to, you know, that ain't going to work. He can kick at the two. Hiding behind this, do that. This ain't no good. He is banking, cutting something. Now he's going to try to roll it in front of that ball. Just like that, and that ain't no good. What good is that? It got as good as it could get. You know? Yeah. It looks like Shane will have to waste... He's going to be on the last ball on the table after he breaks his ball out. Try to get it in the center of the table. I guess he's just going to roll yeah. up. Roll up there and smash into those balls. Yeah, Alex was in the, in the trap. He had no shot. Isn't that something? Well, no. Shane's got to hope for a roll here. Probably he just kisses off the underside of it and gets in the open for the deuce. And he's getting the open for the deuce. He's shaking his head, but that, you know, that's about the best of it. I'd say either three rails around, one, two, three, right there. I think I'd go three rails with a little bit more control. Yeah. What do you think? I would think that's what he's going to do. Right around the 15. Well, he, yeah, yeah. I can't tell. He might be going cr straight across and back across. No, that's the right shot right that's there. That's definitely Just, the right shot. No oh, man, look, at how he, look where he hit it. That's about as good as you can get there. Well, now, what does he do here? Does he, can he come up table? Yeah, he can get there. It's the 15 is just a little bit big. Not just a little bit big, it's huge. He got to miss the side pocket here if that's what he's trying to do. I and think miss so, back and forth. And, and miss his ball and every other damn thing. Back and forth, boom. Well, wow. good, as it, good as it gets. That's just a lovely place to play that ball. He got as good as he could get there, Freddie. <laughs> and up four to one now. I say he just keeps getting out. 
Alex needs to make a ball on the break. I think he hit the balls harder than he was. He has been. Yeah. dry last time. He really needs to make a ball on the break and get an easy break and run. I can't believe how fast his hair's growing out. He was bald like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, I know. You see that? Look. I, I mean, did. I cut my hair at the same time, and I'm like, still bald. He had like a shadow now. It's like growing out. He uses that paint. Well, he's got the ball in the side pocket, so he's got an opportunity. Let's take a look at what's going on down here. Ugh. Two balls get to marry up. I think the nine must go. The 14 goes, the two ball does go. So high balls maybe, I think high balls. If he can see one, he may not be able to see one. So he, got, he don't have one. He's got to shoot the solids. Does he even have a solid to shoot? The one. He does have the one. I think he's got the 14. But you'd hate to shoot that one as your first shot. But if he does. What, way down there behind yeah, the rack? Yeah. Yeah, that's, close, yeah, that's tough. Close. I'm going to take a look He's at it. He's got to shoot the one. He's gonna, he don't have a choice here. But the six is going to be a problem for him. I just don't see him shooting anything but the one. But he's such a great shot maker, he might make anything he shoots at. But I know one thing, he don't want to miss his first shot. No, no. Then, then he'll be in serious trouble. He's already down four to one. It's only, it's actually only one break of serve. A break of break. I you gotta shoot the one here. Cut this ball backwards. Both Not backwards. Shots. Maybe, you know, if he makes a 13, he might go into these balls, the two. Yeah, he could. Or he goes two rails. Oh, he can make this 12. No, He's looking right he at it now. Well, that didn't look like he even hit it. Maybe he walked around the table enough that the table it tilted moved. a bit. Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay, straight back draw. I don't know that he can get off the rail. If he can, the nine ball does go past. In the side. In the side, both side pockets, I think. But where does he go here? Oh, he's gonna follow. He's gotta get around the floor. And. Well, he got perfect too, buddy. Look good. Nice shot. Nice shot. Well, if he can get just high of the 14, he can play. He can play anything here. Spin it with inside. That stroke. If the nine goes, he's popping at it. Draw back. He's drawing back. Can the nine go? It's funny because he kind of slapped the chalk like he didn't like it. Can't tell from here I'm corner hooked. One foot draw. Oh, that's good enough there. That six ball shouldn't even move. And it doesn't. Nice out. Sure was. There you go. Alex break and runs. Still, it's still a little tricky, right? But 
he needs a dry break from Shane or he needs a miracle from the winds. He needs something because Shane doesn't look like he's slowing down any. Shane's break is just so good. And of course he's worked at it. He knows how to go faster, slower. He knows how to rack, rack tightly. 12 ball or 14 ball in the side pocket or both. Both. Simple motion on his break. Hips forward, whipping that back arm. I mean, you got to put it all together, and that, what, this is what you got. And guess what happened? And it made nothing. Zippo. Four, seven, ten, three, five, seven. This might be the break that Alex is looking for, literally and figuratively. Mm. Like them words? 13 ball doesn't go. Two ball doesn't go. He's shooting the solids. He's going to shoot the solids. I like it. No doubt. I like it. Well, two ball goes up table, and you don't even have to move, move anything, but it'd look a lot easier if the seven wasn't there. Where are you going? Oh. He must like that two ball a lot up table. I think he was trying to get some kind of angle to where he could broke, you Break know, it out. knock it out, knock it out of there, but. Well, he's staring up table. He's trying to hit it. He's trying to hit it. He's going to plow it. Not hard. And he's nice got shot. it. Oh, nice shot. And he's got insurance with a one ball, but it looks like he's got the four ball. He's not going to shake his head. Nice shot there. I don't know what Alex is looking for. Just punch this in and I suppose play the two ball on the side. It's close. Or the one ball. Uh, he's close to his work here. Well, you know, he wished he had drew that ball more. I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, my goodness. Alex. So Alex, the, Alex, the, Alex. The two goes in the corner, doesn't it? You tell me. I see no, a seven doesn't. ball there. How could he have done not, that? How could he not draw and just got out in the center? Huh, Freddie? I don't know. It uh, doesn't seem you know look like saying? he should have just punched that one out and played the it one ball right there. Right? He, 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 didn't, he didn't want to be on the nine ball. But he could have drew straight back there and just come way over there. He's playing the two ball in the side pocket. From this angle, it looks like it's a, it's a hanger. But from the other angle, and it's in there. Cue ball is just flying all over the place. Now look. Look at this. And one, one and f the one and five are no good. Oh boy, Alex, Alex, Alex. All because he couldn't draw his ball and get over there on them balls. Yeah, I guess he just wanted you to know? draw it back and out and get on the ball, but. Uh, you know that happens a lot playing one pocket. You try to draw a ball with the precision. Always just go past. <laughs> play play just go past. past your, go past where you need to be. A few inches. You're better because you're better off going a little past than short. Even if he can make this seven, there's no future here. I don't think. I don't know what he's gonna do here. He's gonna have to plow this in there off the twelve ball maybe and come right back to, and try to break these balls. Oh, he tried it off the eight ball and there's the oh. Oh, he needs that ball to drop. Oh no, that was that was his ball. <laughs> APA. And 
no slop rules here. God, he left, he left Shane pretty goofy here. He did. Shane can rear back and fire at the 13, jacked up over ball. Oh, he's got to be, he can't make this 14? 15? I don't know if he goes. It, 15 goes. Go by there. And he can, he can uh, use the yeah. wind. <laughs> no kidding. He can use the one ball as a blocker or a position ball. He used the one ball as a position ball. Yep. Boy, that was a big mistake by, by Alex. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> is he getting on the? Uh, is he playing the for the twelve? Yeah, he's drawing 12 back and now. Twelve and fourteen. Really doesn't matter which ball goes first. A ball's hanging in the side pocket. You choose any pattern you want. Every ball is a key ball. He'll probably shoot the fourteen next. Yeah, I think so. And then boom, boom. And he's he might shoot it now. Just, just, just because. Well, he's, well, why he's wouldn't you shoot pretty, that 12 ball right now? He's sitting pretty good on the 12. I don't, well, I don't know why he don't want to. Well, whatever goes through his mind is going through his mind. One rail across. That's why right there he's a little bit more same closer. Position, same position. He's a same foot, angle. He's a foot closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good angle there. See how small that pocket is. Rubbed. One rail across, nine ball in the same pocket. I bet he gets out. <laughs> you would win that bet. What do you think? You would certainly win that bet. Five to two, Shane Van Boning. Alex Pagulayan, the break. to break. Alex is looking for something. The cue ball? <laughs> there it is. In the meantime, we're going to get George Teache in here to take over for Bobby LeBlanc. Alex with a, with a decent break, but doesn't look like a ball is going to drop. It looks like it looks like another dry break for Alex, which is exactly what he doesn't need. Here for and Robert LeBlanc. Here's George Teacheas coming in for Robert LeBlanc. George, how are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Joined quite the match here. Quite a few matches. Great ones. Alex and Dennis, Shane and Alex. Doesn't get better than this. Some people might say it gets no better than this. <laughs> well, he went with the high balls. And, and they don't really, there's not, it's not really open. And he got up pretty high, so he's gonna have to cut this 13 ball in. I don't see much else for him to shoot. Well, if he shoots that 13, he's breaking up that 10-1. Yeah, 
And if he gets that, it's just going to be another Shane Van Boning run out. <laughs> He's had a few. He's played so solid. So, so solid. He yes. overcut it. Ooh, it looked like it was going to. goes gonna, in. It looked like it was going to stay out. It looked wide, but it caught the facing caught of the. Caught the outside yeah. of that pocket and got sucked in. The outside coming in. Alex really uh, blew an opportunity there off of Shane's break. Mm -hmm. And that run out got a little bit short on that draw, straight draw back. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know that if it was Shane, if it had been Shane that shot that ball, he would have been made sure he got plenty of draw, if not over draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't come up short very often. Yeah, it looks like if at all. Shane is banking this ball or playing safe. Oh, no, he's got... Yeah, well, it did hit a bank. He hit a bank. It did hit a bank. I got hooked by the, the trophy here. Apparently. Yeah, that trophy. Very, you yeah, can't yeah. tell what he's what he's doing. Trophy snooker. Yeah, but it looks like he's got it now. One rail down. The nine ball does go, not past the seven, but past the deuce. Past the deuce, and the eleven ball gets him there. Yeah. He's staring. He's there. He's perfect. Wow. Four game lead, unless something falls off. Something would have to miraculously happen for oh, him not I to get you. out here. Well, Shane is just looking like every bit the champion that he is. I tell you. You, you just, you know how good he plays. You watch how good he plays, and it just seems that he gets better and better. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. It's, you know, it, it's, it's it. just that tough. Is it. Where does it stop? He's played so solid. Um, the break, the runouts, the patterns. Then he can get out with the kicks and the banks. Yeah, and, and then the jump and shot. then the jump shot. He He's made a jump shot early, earlier today that was just to die for. One of the best, One of the I've, best ever I've ever seen. seen. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Every time he jumps the yeah. ball, it seems like, wow, this is the best I've ever seen. Ball's froze on the rail. He shoots out of you know the head rail and cuts it all the way down the long rail. Right. Past the side pocket. Jumping a full ball. Wow. And if uh, we hadn't had that on... It'll be a highlight. Oh, it will be. If we didn't have it on the stream... Somebody will have it on That's there. That's right. It'll be a highlight. Okay. He broke dry last time. Not this time. <laughs> it's a raining ball. So oh, there goes the deuce. Go. Is he going to get there? Mm, he's going to get there for an easy shot if he chooses to take solids. Yeah, the three ball, unfortunately, for the solids, it's got to go into the side pocket, so that's the toughest ball for the solids. Yeah. For the stripes, yeah, the, they're, if he can shoot a first shot, the combination would be the toughest. As his choice. I think he's going to take solids. Wait, I just gotta see that. I gotta see that ball by the side pocket. That, that. Uh, well, I there's, saw. there's no oh, wait. Nothing. There's no waiting. <laughs> you want there's Shane to wait? <laughs> no. no, I was waiting for the camera to come back. Oh, okay. To that angle. All right. <laughs> yep. Well, if uh, hold it. Now maybe he's gonna attack down yeah. table. Having the five ball where it is, he can get to the three ball on the side. Having the, you know, the two balls by the side pocket, he can get to the three ball for the corner. Yeah. Plenty of people here at Griff's. Wow. In Las Vegas, Nevada. What a week it's been. He's doing a lot of spinning here right between the two balls. <laughs> And depending on this angle on the five, he's just going to get to the five so he can play the three up table either in the he side might, pocket. He might, he, you know, he might go after the three ball right here because he's, he's got an insurance ball. What's he looking at? How to go off the six there? Maybe playing position for the, th for the three ball off of the six behind the 
Because the three ball passes into mm -hmm. the corner pocket, mm -hmm. past the five ball. Yeah, there's. He's got all kinds of options here. Yes, he does. Let's see this if he just hard. slow rolls yeah. this ball. Hard Look to hold. A bit of concentration on this. Oh, he's breaking <laughs> the balls. If you have that kind of control. What a beautiful shot. What, yeah, if just you have that kind of control. Uh, I think he's coming back for the. No, he'll probably he'll probably stun up for the six ball. Or the four, either one of the two. Whatever he gets the best angle on, he'll shoot. And that'll be the, the four ball. He's got to come back. Well, he could play the... No, he's, he's playing the four yeah. and then the six and the seven. Little little unorthodox, you but think? nothing is, uh, you know, yeah. orthodox patterns don't apply to Shane. He's got such great control of the cue ball. Were you thinking you might have played the seven ball and come around? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that was yeah. possible. It wasn't, you know, it's it's within his, his uh, <laughs> skill set. Realm, skill set. He, and look, see, he's he playing does. like this. This is just so non. Oh! He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to give you a thrill, Freddie. Oh. Just giving you a thrill. Yeah, I mean, this is certainly isn't a pattern that an amateur would shoot. but He'll shoot this nice and soft. But he's so uh, good. Will he he's draw he's, this he's ball? shaking his head, but it certainly feels like he'll go up table. Well, if he draws it, if he clips those two balls up there at the head of the table, he's going to shoot this real soft, I think. Yeah. And just take this shot the way it is. I'm surprised he didn't show off a little bit and go to the head rail with right English and come two rails at the no, end. No, but that's kind but of, you know, that's that's a little... I mean, he's, he's already shot a couple of those kind of Has shots, he? but he doesn't need to. You know, the no. cue ball is already going to go up table, and the slow roll is the right shot. It's going to be 7 to 2 in a second here. 7 to 2. So solid. He's so Shane solid. Shane Van Boning. I mean, for Alex to come back now, it's, it's Shane needs three. Alex needs a prayer. I haven't seen him even wiggle a ball to a pocket. Mm. He, everything's been dead center. Pretty much. I don't think the he might as well be playing on a snooker table. He's going so dead center for everything. Excuse me, let me reach around. There we go. Well, this will be the if he if he finishes this off, this will be the second tournament this year. You know, you got the U.S. Open 10 ball. He went through that undefeated. Correct. And if he gets through this one undefeated. Now, last year he came out of the, the one loss side. That's right. To come one back loss to win it. side and yeah. beat his mentor, yeah. Rory Hendrickson, in the U.S. 8 ball. Wasn't it Rory that sent him to the? To no, the I believe he lost very early on to. Yes. Um, yeah, I remember it was early. Got a ball yeah. down, got kicked, ooh, almost got ticked. Well, this is, this. we can see this 5, 14, 6 doesn't look very pretty. <laughs> he might come across with a f off the four ball and whack the five. You know, just because there's a line at the bottom of the rack doesn't mean the balls have to line up. Right, right? they just stayed there, apparently. Yeah, pretty much. Wow, Alex, Alex, Alex. Yeah, he needs an easy out to stay in this match. Four in the corner, maybe clip the five. And as long as he doesn't get lost in all of this. Oh, well, comes he's got up perfect. He's got a shot on the seven and the two. I think the seven ball might wait. Although he could hit it, you know, if he wants to shoot it now, well, and get on the, the three ball. I think the two ball probably to the three. The three lays funny for him. He's looking it over. Uh, I was going to say, if he wants to shoot it, he could shoot it with left English 
spin off that ball, but he's going to send that ball over to that corner pocket that might block the three, so he yeah. doesn't want to move it. He doesn't want to move it. Uh -uh. Definitely doesn't want to move anything. Mm -mm. He doesn't want to bump balls right now. Things are laying very, very favorable for him. And he's in control of this game. Right. Really what Alex needs is a rainstorm. <laughs> An earthquake during chain shots. Well, get the rain going and the break will change right oh, now. Oh, that's true. Right now, Shane is just breaking like the monster that he is. Well, you know, he spends a lot of time practicing that That's break. Right. He deserves everything that comes to him. So Shane's just amazing. That's all there is to it. Can't argue that. <laughs> you know, what do you say to that? All right. Get him a blue shirt with a big red S. <laughs> Someone already has that nickname, but. Oh, I was thinking of just Shane. <laughs> I wasn't going with Superman. Roberto might get upset about that. That's right. And well, that's my nickname. He could shoot the seven and get on the three. Seems like he can just slide over you in the two. Let's see where, what he does. He hasn't really looked at the seven. And he's on the three, and he's got the good angle. Can he come over for the seven past the 13? Looks like it. It could. Yeah, he's Why coming not? over. Yeah, he's coming over. You see there, touch of inside. Pop it out. Now he's got choices. Oh, my. He needed an angle on the one if he was going to get those a five, but this six ball is kind of funny. Looked like maybe he was going to try to go for that. It looks like a stop shot in this one ball and play that six, because the six isn't exactly a hanger. Oh, he, he can play shooting it. it He's now. shooting it now. Yep. And he's long on the five, good on the one, good on the seven. Yeah, he doesn't want to get stuck shooting that seven ball last. It's amazing how long of a bridge he can still shoot with. You know, that, that bridge length was about 20 inches. <laughs> and he was able to deliver the cue. Well, practice makes perfect. Yeah. <laughs> now here's a guy that plays so good and I don't know that he works it at his game as hard as Shane does, but I know that he does work at his game quite a bit. Right. No professional doesn't work on yep, their no, game. He, but and Alex. the fact that he tried he took up snooker for a while in Canada, that just probably improved him. Well I'm not sure he took up snooker as much as he shot snooker. Well. <laughs> shot something. It's a good run out. Uh, badly needed one, too. Yeah. yeah. Seven to three, and he really needs some help from Shane, and I don't think Shane's going <laughs> to oblige one bit. Shane, yeah. Shane's going to try to run this train right through. <laughs> Alex. I'm, uh, I'm chuckling because Shane will help him right out the door. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that's a different way of racking. He's racking two solids behind the, 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 the red ball, then two stripes, then two, two, two stripes, two solids, two stripes. And, but they make him change the corner ball to, right. a, to, a, to a stripe and a solid. A lot of bar players will do that solid stripe, solid stripe, but then they end up with two solids in yeah. the corners. And that's, uh, that's about the only rule of mm -hmm. the eight ball that uh, they'd be, that, that's important. 
one of them has to be a solid one has to be the stripe on the bottom corner eight yep. ball has to be in the third row in the middle that break that's so, just it's, it's so just consistent amazing. it's just so consistent it's just amazing it's like it yeah. time after time after time I'll we'll take a look at the nine and the the nine and the 13 if those don't go the nine goes. The nine and goes. And the thirteen will end up going the other pocket. So. It looks, yeah, it looks like the nine goes to either pocket. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if it gets by the four. <laughs> the, the nine can only go to the other pocket corner if the thirteen's not there. I think. I don't think you can hit the nine into the upper left as we view it mm. on the monitor. Mm -hmm. It might go, but certainly it goes in the bottom left as we yeah. view it. I suspect that he's going to shoot the high balls if he has one to shoot and it could very well be the nine if he can see it or the 11 in the side eleven in the side we've got a great angle on this ball Or he looks at the solids to see if he can <laughs> bump out the one ball, five ball, and then everything's open from there. But well, his opening shot isn't isn't yeah. the best. That that no. eleven on the side is tough, and the cue right. ball is going to run. If he plays the twelve, he's yeah. got to go two rails and miss the miss the two ball. Yep. Two rails, miss the four ball. So he's going with the twelve, and he could. I suppose he could. No, there's no draw out there. He's going forward. Looks like the two ball is big. Looks I think look, he's saying the yeah. two ball looks big. First shot is everything on this rack. Feels like he'll go back to the 11. <laughs> or he says no or the side. Like you know, this, the, so, this, the solids, he's just got to tap a five or one if he's going to take the solids and do that with the six ball if he takes that. And that really isn't a bad play. Of course, if you're Shane, nothing's a bad play if you make a ball. <laughs> Back to his original plan, 11 on the side. Oh, he was, able to the, he was able to <laughs> hit the nine ball. I kept thinking he might be playing that nine. I just uh, couldn't see if he could actually You couldn't really see tell. It, it was both, both, both balls. You really couldn't tell what he was shooting. Nice cut shot right and down really there. That's oh, he wants the, he wants 13. He's got it. Because it does go. Yep, he's got it. Down and around the four ball. Well, he has to shoot this 13. Because mm -hmm. it only goes one direction here. The question is going to be whether what he does with the 12 ball for the to get to the eight ball. I guess he'll be fairly straight on it with an angle and just draw it over. I have a feeling when it's all set, he's. he's <laughs> I like this right here. Just you pocket the 14, come out for the 11, then the 12, and come over for the 8. Lay the cue ball right where his hand is right now. Just like that. And that's fine. And he's got to float forward. Oh, he can just stop it, I guess, or just stun it. Mm -hmm. Just barely move it. Yeah. yeah. A little hand flip there, but certainly looks like he can just float. Oh, he looks like he's winding. He's just a little bit. He's going right. to come back just a little bit. That looks kind of straight, but maybe he's just got a, an angle here. Just slight angle. Well, if he's got too much, if he's too straight, then he's going to draw past the eight and shoot in the corner on the, on the bottom of the table. Easy. Oh, is there a pocket Easy. there? Easy. There is a pocket there. Wow. See, he got a little too straight on that ball. Unbelievable. You'd never believe that he was going to scratch there. He just made this match a little more interesting, didn't he? Well, he, he, he gave him a breath of hope. He's given Alex... Life. Yep. So you're saying there's a chance. So they're saying there's a chance.
because if he wins that game there, he's at, he's at eight, needing two games. Alex needs seven. And that's that's huge to overcome against someone that's breaking like Shane, playing right. like Shane, and it's alternate break. So it, it is it is a tough one. And there really is no issue here. I'm not sure why Alex is He's thinking. Still Might have to play the six ball up table and to the middle. He needed just an angle. I don't see any issue here, but three ball. Playing to three, probably wanting to avoid the seven, he did. Coming down. To Which is strange because you'd think these two balls there here would be, one of these would be his key ball. His key the ball, four yes. ball yeah. probably should be his key ball right. he's played for it. He can also use the seven. Two ball up and down the table. He just, he's got to compose himself here. Oof. He over and down, he's overcut a bit. He's a little ragtag here. He's shell shocked, is what it is, I think. Is he going to put the eight ball in the front of the uh, side pocket? I doubt it. No. Okay. I was going to say, that's a lot it. of shot. The eight ball so far a lot table, of shot, but, yeah. And he just got to make sure he's not straight on this ball. Straight is actually okay, he can draw back, but he's got to, it looks like he wants to go around this one ball. Yeah, around the one ball. Right down the throat. Good angle. Last three balls pretty much speak for themselves. He does want a little bit of an angle on this ball so he can either use the rail or come up the rail to get straight on the eight. I think it's good. Straight mm -hmm. follow. Mm -hmm. I think, yes. Yeah. Maybe a touch of inside. Get up there. I certainly don't expect him to miss this shot. <laughs> well, personally, I'd like to be up at the first diamond, but this is good, <laughs> especially for Alex. He's got no worries about this. Mm. Wow. Unbelievable that Shane scratched position to be almost straight on the ball when he didn't need just an angle. Yeah, I, and I, drew I, it I somewhere over there. Too much stroke. First time I think I've seen him lose the cue ball. Yeah, that's uh, very, very surprising. This whole week. And he had a large landing area. He did. He really did. Pick five inches that he couldn't land at. I think there's like 44 and a half or 40, is it 45 inches of rail each side of the side pocket? Forty-four. Let's see if he can consolidate that break of serve. Alex needs this one to keep it close. Yeah, he gets to he gets to five. Shane needs three. And the way Shane is breaking, you know he's going to be climbing up that ladder the next time. Four. Oh, the four ball missed. And the three ball missed. And the four ball missed again. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I don't believe anything. Nope. And no. Well, Gennaro is going to move. The rack, but Shane says nope. Looks like he can start with the 13 ball or the four ball. Well, the eight ball doesn't go anywhere. The stripes are 
holding it back, so you expect him to shoot the high balls. 12 ball goes, but the nine ball doesn't. playing the four ball, so he'll be breaking out those balls. Yeah, oh, he's got over there. that out of the way. He just might go play the six ball right now. Uh, I'm not sure. Never mind. So I'm thinking he could go two rails into the 12, but it's too, too tough. Dangerous. Going to come off the bottom into the 12, 8. He's going to try to open up this 8 ball right here and pocket the 3. He's coming straight up with a little inside English. Trying to hit a field goal between the 11 and 12. 1 out of 2 is not bad. But he's left himself a tough shot. On the five, bridge huh. shot on the set six. He's in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Junara wants to get that rack off of there. Good view of that back bat wing on that uh, predator <laughs> shaft. What would you call that stick? It's the predator break break bridge. handle. I mean uh, <laughs> bridge break, <laughs> bridge handle. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And that's more of a moose head bridge. Tough shot. How steady that bridge is and his hand is with that. Yeah, and how well he just shot that. And wow. crowd appreciative. Appreciative. Wow. He'll play this 7-2-1-5. How tough. He'll have a perfect angle on the five. Although last time he lost a cue ball going across like that, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> what are the odds of him doing that again? So he's shooting the one, it looks like. Wow. Or the two, there it is. And then the one ball back and forth. Yeah. He, he wants to get straight in on this uh, seven so he can just stop it and it be perfect on the five. He may shoot the five ball next. <laughs> and he's jacked up. So he must shoot the six no matter what. Even if he wanted the five, he's got to mm -hmm. shoot the six. Leaked it in to one side, tried to hold it as much as he can, and he worked that right. Coming across. He went he down. He wants below it, and he wants the eight on the side. Okay. Eight to four. Eight to four, Shane to break after a dry break by Alex. Here comes Shane to break. Just, Just what? Uh, you know, he gave uh, gave Alex a game back there, and I don't expect him to do that again. He's just so consistent. He's got a shot on something here. 
Well, he's got a shot in the 14 ball. Let's take a look at these balls. Both look good. There mm -hmm. isn't a ball tied up. If he plays the 14, he slides over for the 11, then this, that's solved. If he shoots a three, really doesn't look to be a problem with the uh, high, low balls at yeah, all. Don't make a trouble, don't make a problem. Oh, wow. he just, and he just hung up a ball. ball. <laughs> hung up a ball, and here comes the lion. I didn't see him doing that. No. Overcut the no, three yeah. ball a little bit. Did he bit. overcut it or did he undercut it? It doesn't matter, it's sitting there. Can't tell. That one's not that slow up there. <laughs> I suspect that, that uh, Alex would shoot the high balls. Problem is the 15 lays a little bit funny to get to the 11 ball. Well, by hanging up that three ball. He may take the solids then he, just play the three the ball. Solids, yeah. Yep. Playing three ball and then shooting over for the six. Alex in a little bit of a hurry. <laughs> making two at a time. I wonder if he didn't shoot that one ball, come up for this five, come down table for this five, and then come over for the two and just run out. Although going from the two to the six could be dangerous. Yeah, that's, I like this better. After seeing the two six, if he went that route, yeah, I think uh, yeah. this makes cool. more sense. This is one of those traditional where you play at one side of the table and work your yeah. way down. And see, now this this makes a lot more sense because the two balls is key ball for the eight. You can just bump the nine after he shoots the five. Shoots the five, then the deuce, and... Bob's and your eight. uncle. Bob's your uncle. I wouldn't be surprised if he shot the two ball next. Uh, okay. Just it, bo either way, it all depends on how he lands on this ball. You see, they're just seeing what happens if the mm -hmm. five ball is the key ball versus mm -hmm. the two ball. Yeah, if he if he doesn't come over enough. Yeah, you actually just play. Go ahead and play for both balls. And he didn't come over enough. Yes, he did. He got the two. Yes. Slide forward here, and I guess he's going to be following the five ball. If he's got the five, he can just roll that in and play the two in the side and bump the nine, as you said earlier. Mm. Yeah, he likes he likes his two ball. Got to hold an angle. Yeah. Couldn't have reached it where it was before for the yeah, five. I don't certainly think. not. Yeah. Don't want him to get too fancy here. Two rails. Two rails forward. And the eight goes in the side, which is about as perfect of a shot as you can get. Or right down the pike on this. Alex steals a game. After a funny miss by Shane and breaking. Mm -hmm. This is huge. Sure is. Because one more mistake by, by Shane. And we could have a real tough match. Because Alex would get two games off of it. Is it now 8 6 or is it 8 uh, It's 8, eight, 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 eight 6 now, I think. Did he change that already? He must have. He must have changed it quick. Yeah, this gets him to six, and that's why I say one more mistake by Shane. He makes up those two games. Because mm. we've seen him at two game, in two game in increments. needs to break and run to keep this close. Shane only needs two, so Alex can't afford any mistakes at this point. Two of the best players in the world. Ten on the side. 
Here goes the, whoa. Eight gets moved, and look at this. <laughs> you can see the sails just kind of lose their air when that last ball came a rolling in. And tied up. And tied up this four, one, and 13. The one ball goes, mm -hmm. but he doesn't have a shot on the low balls, and it looks like he has to shoot the high balls, and you can, you can see that 13 just buried in there. Opportunity here for Shane, if he can uh, get back to the table to try to get on the hill, but Alex is shooting. Yeah, he's got to give him the opportunity. If he keeps control of the table, not so much. I'm just wondering if he'll shoot that, um, he's, he's looking to shoot this 14 ball. <laughs> now what happens if he throws the chalk up in the air and drops down and hits a ball and then hits another ball? It's a foul. Two balls movement. <laughs> Two ball movement. Nothing could though, I, you know, they were too far away. But if it bounces off one ball and hits the other, yeah, that's a foul. But we've seen, you ever seen uh, Alex juggle? Yes. Okay, I doubt that he drops the chalk, in other words. Well, he's gotta get to this 13. He certainly can't break the 13 going from right to left. The four ball would end up covering the eight ball or would be in danger of it. See if he creates an angle to do it off the nine or does he go after it now? Boy, that's really, that's asking a lot. Oh, yeah, he that's went after it now. asking a lot. Look what he in, he's and in, the 11 he's ball trouble. now. I mean, that's, there you go. That's what I'm talking he paid about. A price. Breaking from the right side yeah. could cover the eight or the 11. And he got there, covered the 11 which is exactly what he didn't want to do. And he can't shoot a ball. He could shoot the 13, but boy, that's difficult at this point. 13 in the side. Or the corner. Wow. Nine balls is best shot, probably bank it in the side. I think you might be right. The 13 is just goofy. He doesn't If, if wow. he can't make the 13, he shouldn't be shooting it. The four ball, you're gonna make Shane break yeah. those balls out. Yeah, he can't really do anything there, if he's, especially if he's frozen. It's not kissing, so it's, you can cut it in the side, but I, 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 I might like that nine ball more than I do the 13. He missed it. No, oh, he didn't. It oh, he just in. barely got it. What a great shot. And now bank on the 11. I don't think he can stiff this, can he? A 16th, a 30, a, an eighth of an inch to the right, and he misses that ball. It, was, it looked like it was going right at the point, but it was inside. Just inside. Right. He's got to spike the f 15. He didn't spike it. He just kind of cozied it. And now he's got to play for the bank. Yeah. Dead stop shot. Actually, he's got to come back a hair. No, well, the good news is he will come back a hair. Yeah, oh, no, he just. Uh, Says it works. It looks like this is one of those that you don't have to hit hard. The closer it is the cushion, the less you have to. Less speed will influence it. Gets to six. Right in the center. Gets to six. Surely he doesn't need it. Yes. He needs the bridge. Whoa. Of course, he's such an excellent bridge shooter, but mm -hmm. you'd think that he could reach this one. Yeah, it's past the side pocket. He can reach an awful lot. <laughs> yeah, with that long bridge. But he's a great bridge shooter. You can see his form is, is excellent. Eight to six. Well. <laughs> Shane.
Shane will be breaking the balls here. Shane to break. Well, Shane's last break, he broke them absolutely perfectly, but he uh, missed oh, the I, ball. He over, just unbelievable. I'm not sure. If, we're not sure. If, I'm not sure if he know. overcut that Whatever ball. Whatever he did, he, yeah, he, he just hung he up the ball. Three ball. Hung. The ball hung. Hung up so. the three ball. I called it an overcut and not sure. I just know it was there when we when when, when we look back at it. I look back at it. And well, the Shane faithful wants him to make a ball in the break and not scratch. And right in the middle yeah, of the table, cue ball got kicked twice and stopped it. He's got. Oh boy. Well, there's a whole bunch of balls down there by that there corner, <laughs> up there by that corner because that's up table from the break. Yes. Nothing looks good here. Be interesting how he solves this riddle. Mm, more than likely going forward off the deuce, playing the 5 1 combo, things like that. Yeah, I think so. Maybe two rails with that deuce and maybe knocking on the 11. If he does that and he stays open, he's got a good shot here, but the four ball also doesn't look all that great. I think he can actually make it in the corner from a certain angle. And as I look at this, can he even make the deuce? <laughs> I would think so. Let's see. Wow, that's close. A lot closer yeah. than uh, yep. we thought. Maybe he plays the six ball or the two off the, off the rail. The old rail first shot, huh? <laughs> that's right. Wow, interesting first shot. Suddenly, it's not not so foregone a conclusion. This match, Shane has been on eight now. It was eight to four a second ago. It's mm. now eight to six. <coughs> Keep in mind, this is a single race to ten. There will be no second set. If it was going to be, we'd already started because he's at eight. <laughs> That's right. Well, we're just waiting for Shane to shoot do, the two. <laughs> to shoot the two. Shoot the two. Here we go. Either rail first or the two straight in. Yeah. He's not ready. Yeah, he is. He's drawing the ball out. And now, now the five one. Now the five one. And if he can avoid the five ball hitting the cue ball or some other ball, he could actually stop this ball and play for the three ball. Let's see how he does. I just the five ball was crashing, so as long as that stays clear, he, how does the five ball look? He shook his head. You're, you're trophy hooked. I am trophy hooked. He's got half a pocket at the very most. I don't think he can make that five ball past the 12. I can't really see. Uh, he's looking at a different home besides that pocket, so. He's. He's staring at it. Well, he might be forced to shoot the six ball, and he doesn't want to do that. Because he needs something on this five, he needs to get away a uh, way to get on the five and move it, and there's no angle to get there from the six. If he shoots the six, he'll probably come down for the seven on the spot, and then take care of the four, and then have to go up and take care of business on the on the five, or. Get on the three. Let's let's just see how he handles this. He's got some options. He's got a big decision because if he commits to one, yeah, he's committing to the out. Yeah. Well, he's already committed to the out. The stripes yeah, are open. He can't he can't do too much. He's pointing. He's saying. He's doing something. Keeps pointing at his problem. 
Rail first on the six to slide across, maybe bumping yeah, the. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. But if he slides across. To bump the 12, then he play the three ball, and the five ball has a pocket to go. Okay. I like that. I mean, that's a lot, but that's what he's looking I at. I like that. He's got to move five the five ball also might be able to go behind it. No, it doesn't go behind the 10, does it? No, it doesn't. Tends too close to the cushion. Tends too close to the rail to hit the rail and slide off of it. Yeah, it's yeah. too close. It's very, very risky. This is quite a manufacturing of a run out if he can get this to bump the 12 to open up the pocket and be able to shoot the six. He is going rail first. Yeah, rail first. One rail across to the 12. You know, this could slide off the, the 10 and scratch or the a ball up there and scratch. He actually went off the 12. And didn't move it. He went off the 12. Oh. Now the five ball actually does go. So if he has a shot in the four ball or the seven ball, he can get out yep. here. Well, he does have a shot on the, oh. I'm looking at his face. He did not the shake. 11's he, big. He didn't shake his head. So he's got the four. I believe he does, and he can just draw off the cue mm. ball. Oh, it's close. It's close. Now he whacked the chalk. If he's got a shot on the four, I would stop it and then shoot the seven come up. Yeah, that's what I would think he'd be doing, but he looks like he's just the wrong way. The stop shot starts to go behind the eight ball, as, well, it, as they say. We're going to see what he does. I think he's Playing moving the, the eight. Drawing up into the eight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you thought he was firing. Well, the way he does that, he starts standing up. I know he's not yeah. going to shoot. <laughs> Back down, readdress. Step. He's elevated a little bit over the over, over the, the twelve. 12. Alex is just is he, hoping. Is he changing his mind to shoot the seven? He's shooting the seven. Which I, means no matter what, the four ball is gonna be tough. I actually like this because this gets him better on the three. As long as he makes this, and these are shots that he hits really good. <laughs> and he's like made that. it. He's on the three, but he likes the four ball too. That's a better shot for the four ball, but he is going to be bumping the eight ball, so he has to negotiate. He's got to hope. As long as he doesn't bump the eight ball in the pocket. Well, doesn't he want to move the eight? Does it go by the nine? It doesn't, but it goes somewhere now. Mm hmm feels like he is going to shoot the four ball, touch the eight, and get on the three. Don't know that he wants to actually shoot this three ball. I don't know. Unless he's planning on bumping the five. He's going to the rail. He's drawn he's drawn drawn over the rail to get on the five and then come back for the four. <coughs> Oh, the, the five doesn't go by the 12. No, okay, I don't believe so that 12 no, ball no, okay, moved before. Sorry, I, I thought we had moved, I thought he had moved the 12. It's awfully close. I mean, it is really close, and I just can't take a peek at it. You know, if, if, if he tries to, if he shoots the three trying to move the five, like just graze off of it, it's got to be so soft. It's tough. It's a tough shot here. He may be playing position for the five by brushing the five. He, if he brushes it. He'd have to get unlucky not to get a shot on it. Yeah. If he brushes it, he could slide off the five and scratch in the, in the left side. Oh. I don't think yeah. he'll do it that hard, so I just don't. I, I don't think he goes into the five. He tried to play oh. it off the 12 ball, and he's just given Alex a wide open rack. Wow. He just. That was a lot to ask. Did he try to play that off the 12 he, or just missed I, it? I think he just he, he tried to play it off the 12 ball. Because there was no reason to play it off the 12. He played position for the left side. Well, no, he tried to hold the cue ball as much as he could, and the, okay. there was a cut shot there. So I think okay. he tried to tickle the 12. Wow. I mean, if he tried to hit that and try to hold it right there, mm -hmm. then that was never saw that shot. Mm. Uh-oh. We could be tied by the time Shane comes back to the table. That was his break, wasn't it? That was his break. Yeah. He's breaking on the the odd games when the score is even. It's funny, it's such a big lead, and all of a sudden, here we are facing a possible 
uh, tie at eight. You know, we've talked about how important the break is in the alternating break, especially when it's close. Mm -hmm. The break of serve type of idea. And back over, just don't get behind the three. He did. He did. He, he did. did. It did so much that, well, he does have a shot, yeah. and it's a stop shot, but that was a bit goofy. That was a <laughs> bit goofy, and he knows it. <laughs> Murphy's Law. Stop shot here, I think. Can't do too, nothing fancy unless he wants to draw it straight back for the 12. Just a little bit of a stun shot. Boy, the side. that three is absolutely huge. Especially when he's straight into the Yeah, now he can't follow. If he's got an angle to follow, great. If he doesn't, he's got to just kind of stop this ball or maybe crawl it forward a little bit, but he's got to stay on the, no. on the outside of this ball. I I don't know if the eight ball goes by the four for the corner pocket. I don't believe it does. Really Which needed those balls down here. He, he really wanted that last ball that he just shot to be probably his key ball, but unfortunately he didn't get on the 12 ball. Well, the 14 so would be his greatest key ball. For the eight in the side. For the eight in the side, yeah. And I would hit the bottom rail, side rail, and play it on the right-hand side. How much room does he have on this ball? 11 ball, oh, okay. And he's straight no into way. it, so he's got to come back to right this, there. That three is just so big. Yeah, that's just it. And if he, if he over amps it, he's behind the 4 8. He's got to come back to at least a, a little bit past the spot. For sure. And then he's scaring, you and know, then, some then, other things there. And then he's got to go right to where his hand is, right there, for the, four, for the 14, so he can slide up for the 8. Wow. Oh, he's going to go forward. He's going to see go if forward. he can get forward because he's so straight. Wow. What a final we got going on <laughs> here. <laughs> They're going to keep everybody in suspense. And where these matches had been going an hour, an hour and 50 minutes, we're at an hour and 45 now. But this is a race to 10. This would have been over otherwise. Wow. I okay, mean, it, Alex. It almost see. looks like he's forced to have the 14 as his, uh, and the 12 ball as his key ball, yes. which would stun this a little bit. Oh, he got, oh, he got there. He got perfect. He absolutely got there. He committed to that shot yeah. and got there. He just said, stop, stop fooling around and take care of business. <laughs> and then executed perfectly. A little bit of right English here. Coming off that rail. He can stay to the left side of this and still get on that eight. But I think he wants to be on the other side. Yeah. So now he's going to come straight across. I don't like coming straight across. All right, he's got to come short of the rack area. If he goes into the rack area, you never know what's going to happen if he hits the spot. Yeah. Oh, no, he's got a lot Lentier of room. room. He's got a lot of room. A nice angle there. I, I didn't think he had this much room. So he's, he's liking this a lot from here, folks. Yeah, just short of the rack area. Alex is going to be breaking to tie this matchup. Shane hasn't won a game in what, what feels like 40 minutes. <laughs> it's been a while. This is uh, three games in a row for, for Alex. It was 8-4. It was 8-4. Wow, what a matchup. We are at Griff's in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship 2017. Thank you very much, folks, for joining us on the stream. Hope you're uh, enjoying the match. Thanks for keeping us company here.
Hope we could help with a little bit of insight and bring you this match. Well, Alex needs to make a ball on the break to consolidate that break of serve. Shane needs to get back to the table and win a game <laughs> to get on the hill. Shane is uh, just sitting there kind of contemplating. <laughs> well, he's wondering, you know. He was up eight to four. Just needs to get back to the table. Alex doesn't want him to get back at the table. No. Here we go. He says he can come back when it's his break. Oh, Almost wow. lost the ball, but two balls went in. Three balls went More in. More coming. And the one ball, no, the, uh, the six ball blocks the 10 ball. You'd rather have low balls, but he may not have a low ball. He may be able to shoot this one ball, mm -hmm. but he'd be rolling it. And if he gets that, he should be able to get out. He's got a nice shot on the one. He almost scratched. Yes, he did. He, he came real close to it. He's got a nice shot on this one ball, and he's got the uh, coming over for the two. Then he's out. I'll just go out on a limb. No, no, it's not even going on a limb. I'll just come out and say he's out. I like this. Oh, well, he's got to make this first ball, and I don't see any issues. You know, this is one just to roll in and. Shane in the background hoping to get back to the table. Wow. Let's just watch this unfold. thing about this shot is all he has to do is make it and he'll have decent position. Oh, he's, and he's okay. He's oh, not, he's all right. It's pretty straight though. No, he's got just enough to work with. He can come up for the three in the side or come up past the five. And he got on the 50-yard line, so now he's got to shoot the six. Got right between where he wanted to be. But the insurance ball works. Don't hit it there. Oh, he put a lot of spinach on that ball. <laughs> Did he have to? You know, I thought he was going to go the other way. I thought he was going to go on the other side of the 10 and come down for the 7 just the same way. Yeah, well, he's got the 7 now. And yep. He probably wants to shoot the five ball last. I would have thought so, but in his position Again, now, he's, he's it gonna, almost looks like he has to stay yes. on the inside of the three ball, a five ball, or mm -hmm. come out, but to get an angle and play the three ball last. He is doing that, yeah. coming at an angle for the five to get to the three. should have no problem here. He's reaching again. Yeah, he's got to stretch it. He's just past the side pocket. He likes that last long bridge. He'll probably come back just a hair. Well, he's going to find out. We're going to find out whether that he can reach it without a problem. It's, it's way out there. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. About a 20-inch bridge. Wow. Lion. Shane is going to take a break. 
Nice. From nope, no break from Shane. In fact, he can't wait to get rolling. From eight to four to eight to eight. Four unanswered games. That one little miss by Shane came, plays big. That three ball that he missed in the corner pocket that would have got him on the hill plays real big now as we're tied at eight. Let's just play the U.S. Open eight ball championship with a race to two, says Alex. And he says, I'll even spot you the break. the ball. There goes the ball. Almost the last ball rolling. Three ball was the last ball last rolling, ball but rolling. <laughs> that was close. And it was kind of like spinning in place and then <laughs> falls. The, the nine ball's leaning. I mean, if, if Gennaro jumps right by it, it's going to drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Shane will break here. If he runs this out, he's on the hill. Alex gets to break. To try to tie to, it. To try to tie it, and then Shane gets to break again. And with his break... Uh, you got to, you know, you got you got to like his chances. Sure. But you can't bet against Alex either. But then, how much does Alex come into play with his break? Well, he's been making the ball, so. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, how much does Alex come into play with Shane's break? No. Nothing. Right. He's, you know, he's kind of. Got to hope. He's got to yep. hope. Well, yep. he's had to hope a lot just to get to this position. Yeah. He was down eight to four. He's won the last four games. You would never have thought no. that up eight to four that Shane hadn't got to nine yet. Yes, especially with, you know, with the alternate break, exactly. So does he stop the bleeding? And, there and, he uh, is. Well, this is behind the back here. Not left-handed? Have I ever seen Shane shoot left-handed? He has, but he's a behind-the-back behind type of guy. Okay. Can't shoot this nine ball. No. <laughs> he doesn't want to do the behind the back thing because he wants to come up. <laughs> he wants to bring that ball up. Well, this is quite exciting, isn't it, George? <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for Shane to decide to shoot what he's going to shoot when he started to shoot in the first place. Right. Well, he's tall enough. Yeah. There's behind the back. That's gone behind the back like three times now. It's going to be a fourth time if he doesn't shoot. Oh, my goodness. Over amped. Oh, the nine ball's there. I was going to say over amped, but no. <laughs> no. How wild was that shot? Power draw behind the back. Tickle the two. <laughs> the 11 the, is no bargain. Uh, 10 in the corner, 14 in the, the uh, side, 11. And 11 on there, so here we go. Yep. It's got to be this straight straight in on the 14. Just execute. Off the cushion. <laughs> yep. I, right I wonder in. if he breathes hard for that. 
Well, here he's got to just stop this ball. This is why, you know, if he crawls forward, then he's got another problem. He's actually got to bring it right there. There it is. And now he comes straight. Oh. <laughs> Does this ball come to the left of the eight or come straight back into the three? No, I guess he's okay. Yeah. He's okay. Yeah, he comes perfect. to the left of the eight. Yeah, he's perfect. Straight back draw. Nothing wild. Just a little. That's enough. On the hill. On Mr. the Van hill. Bowden. Needs one game for his second eight ball title in a row. And one game to complete the sweep of the two U.S. Open titles available in this two-week period. Alex? Alex to break. <laughs> Alex wants to make it exciting. And he wants to not allow him, not allow Shane to take that. There's a, there's a, that little guy that ran out. I forget it. I forget his I forget his name, but he made a beautiful run out in the juniors championship. Hmm. Um, in the last, there was a hill hill match. He gets to break and he breaks and runs out. Beautiful match and a great run out. He could barely reach the table at that time. <laughs> uh, Kenny Schumann. And uh, I forget who was, I, it might have been, it might have been Jay Helfert they were, they were commentating the match. But here's Alex. Needs a ball in the break, do not over ramp this. Shane is waiting the wings. Shane needed to stop the bleeding there and he had a nice run out. Cue ball's the, nice. And nothing in the, it, nothing on. Did he the ball, ball go in? He made a ball he on the side. He did go in the side. Yeah, okay. I, was the side. I was looking the other side. Well. He made a ball in the uh, far side. What a match is going to end up. If he ends <laughs> up running this out, which has all the opportunity in the world, the balls are wide open. Shooting at the low balls. The three balls, the toughest ball on the table. Let me check something. I want to see if Shane's even gone a hill hill match. I don't think so. I don't so. think he I has. Don't think yeah, so. I don't think he has. I mean, if this had been a race to eight, he'd already have won eight yeah. to four, as sure. you mentioned earlier. Sure. This is a yeah. tough shot. Looks like he has to play for the three ball in the corner pocket. Let's see, he won, had a bye, then wins eight to two, eight to five, eight to three, eight to six. That's a close, that's the, probably the closest one right there. Yep. Eight to four. Would have been the Manny early. I think that was an eight that to five, it. eight to six match. Yeah, I think it was eight five against Manny. Um, Alex got absolutely perfect on this three ball. Just a stun shot here for the seven, uh, six in the side pocket. And you can see the run out. Six, five to the four. He's got to take a stare at this four to make sure a stop shot gets him there. He's in what you might call uncomfortable territory. He hasn't been challenged like this yet this tournament. Well, you, you know, it <laughs> might be true. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at it like that. I mean, Shane is just so fantastic. Alex has kind of stepped through the door. Shane's made a couple of small mistakes, but mm -hmm. Alex has also been hitting back. He's been breaking well and making the ball on the break. This ball here is a, just a touch uncomfortable. Got to spin this in, hold this ball. And a stop shot here, I think. I, don't, I think he wants eight ball in the side pocket. Yeah, he yeah, just yeah. falls forward. Just don't roll behind don't, the nine. Don't do something silly. <laughs> Get it to Hill Hill. Alex knows that better than anybody. Oh, and he's laying so nice. So nice. Not a problem. I wonder how thick he's going to hit this 14 ball. Full in the face, baby. <laughs> About as full in the face as possible. Oh, not full in the face, cross the face. It is a double hill match. Guess who won the lag? The all important lag and the all important last break. It's Mr. Van Boning.
But the reality is, out of his last three breaks, he's only won one of them. Yeah. Which is exactly what Alex needed yes. to stay in this game. Well, they do a little fist bump as he walks by. Alex turned his back. Yeah, he, there, there you, you go. go. There, there little there. fist little bump. Sportsmanship, of course. The fist bump. And for all of you guys out there, if one guy puts his fist out and you have your <laughs> hand open to shake your hand, the guy who has the fist, hold the fist, or that way you're not op closing your hands on top of each other. Hold the fist. Cue ball, look oh at this. Oh my goodness. Scratch oh on the my. break. That is an unbelievable. Unbelievable, we hate to see that. That's how Alex lost his heel heel match to Dennis. Boy, we hate to see it like that. Gennaro needs to remember that he moved that magic rack. There it is. Yeah. Stomach in knots right now. Absolutely in knots. Listen to the chatter in the room. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But did that ball get vocal. kicked in? or did He got it, close it and then forward. got... It, then, it just then. came forward and kept going forward and nothing hit it. Balls went by it, nothing hit it. Mm, it just crawled in then. It crawled forward. Oh, I've got to be careful here. In, in a matchup with Shane, he was moving the cue ball like that with his stick and he actually hit the cue ball and it ran into a ball. The crowd just went silent. Ay, 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 ay. Wow, that's just unbelievable. You know, I, I, I just don't know how many times I've seen somebody have a great lead like he had at 8-4 to four, and then watch, watch that lead diminish and then the mistake at the end there. It's so big. And they're playing one game for the for the US Open. For the US Open eight ball championship. And Shane scratches on the break. Fifteen in the corner coming up. It's probably fourteen in the corner after that. Eleven in the corner after that. Or the thirteen. He must make the first one, of course. He's put just a slight angle on this. 14 in the corner. He may play. He may go ahead and play the 13 and bounce the two ball out of there. I'm not sure why he would want to do that, but uh, that seems to be what he's playing, unless he plays... I after all of that, that's where he put that ball? <laughs> I, I kind of like uh, just going ahead and making the 13 and hitting the rail, moving the two. You're straight in on the 14. You shoot the 11 ball next. You've got a good angle on it, George. So he must be able to get yeah. behind there oh, fairly yes. easy. Yes. Just like that. Uh, yeah. Perfect, yeah. though. But he's just covered the 11 now. He just needs to fall. He, he wanted to forward. fall forward anyway because he wants to be on the bottom side of it to go sure. up. But look at the size of that three ball. The nine ball only goes to the left as we had viewed it. And he, and he wants to get on the nine ball anyway. And he'll have the perfect angle to do it off the 11. He's out here. I just don't see any way that Alex doesn't get out here. Well, the three ball is huge, so he's got to get below the three. He can't be above the three. He's going to have the perfect angle to do it, is what I'm saying, on this, on this 11. If he gets down just past the 11, right where he's at right now, just past the 14, he'll come right into, the, right into it and have a sh good shot on the nine. And then the 12. He's gotten perfect. He's gotten perfect. The only thing he could do, well, it's a speed shot. He might just stop it to not risk going between, you know, going either too far or too soft. Let's see if he goes all the way through or just stops it. Mm. 
No, he's going for it, and he got perfect. He got there. He got perfect. Yeah, that laid so, so well that it was just, oh, what a, he's, his heart's racing right now. He says, I did it. I, I, I just got to finish. I've just got to finish. This is for the championship, U.S. Open, 2017 U.S. Open eight ball championship. Alex Pagalion just has to drop this eight ball. What a game. He's, there you go. That's Freddie Ognier. The corner man out there uh, going to interview these guys and have a few words. He wants to talk to Shane first. <laughs> if I'm Shane, I don't want to talk to anybody right Coming now. 2017 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship. I'm here with the runner-up, Shane Van Boning. Shane, I know a disappointment. Great tournament for you. How about a few words? Oh, I don't know. You know, that part of the game. Um, you know, it, sometimes... Uh, Opponent will get a fortunate roll, so I mean that's what happened. I scratched on the break on the last game, so you had a great tournament, another great showing. Two U.S. Open tournaments this week. This this week, U.S. Open ten ball championship, runner up in U.S. Open eight ball championship. Great tournament. Congratulations, Shane Van, Van Boning. Yep, thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, 2017 U.S. Open 8-Ball Champion, Alex the Lion Pagulayan. <laughs> Alex, another great tournament, a great comeback. What do you have to say? Um, first of all, I want to thank uh, all the sponsors, CSI, all the sponsors of this event. John Lem Lemon? Le Lehman? Lemon, sorry, my second language. Uh, thank you, everybody, for all the staff that work really really hard and to uh, uh, Mark Griffin thank you what what was the question again sorry <laughs> how are you feeling tell me what turned it around there well um, I keep saying to myself just um, just deal what you have on the table don't think about the other player and uh, if you can't get a role you can't get a role just play your hardest and uh, if I if I get a roll, I get a roll. So I just keep playing hard, hard, and uh, I'm very fortunate to win this match from down eight to four, especially the great uh, Shane Van Boeing. Come on, guys, give it a hand for Shane. What a great player he is. Uh, Shane Van Boeing. Cool. He, he beat me about uh, 30 times, and I beat him one time. Well, it's not so bad, <laughs> but so my kids will eat again. So. <laughs> 2017 U.S. Open champion, eight ball. Alex Pagulayan. Now let's go ahead and have our trophy presentation here. We'll introduce CSI's Amy Kane. Hi. So right now we'll do the trophy presentation. First up is our runner-up, Ms. Kane. To pre present Mr. Van Boning our runner-up trophy. Congratulations. Congratulations. And ladies and gentlemen, our 2017 trophy, Ms. Kane, Mr. Pagalayan, our 2017 champion. Alex, 
Congratulations, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Nice playing, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed the event. We'll see you again next year. No, you no. don't get Amy, sorry. I thought you <laughs>